Good morning all. I'm a resident in Wuhan and I'm here to plead with the government to please help us go home. The death rate is increasing daily. I've been indoor for the past three weeks. I haven't seen anyone. It's affecting us, affecting us psychologically. We have less food to eat. We are begging the government to please consider us as their own children. I'm a Nigerian living in Wuhan. Please, I'm begging Nigeria government. I'm here with my family. My son is here, a three years old boy. My wife is here. Please, we don't need money. Please, we beg you in the name of God. It's not going to happen because no one can enter or exit Wuhan at this stage because the subway stations, the airports, everything is closed. It's not operating as usual. So um, currently, there's no other way. The only way we can get out of this place is if the government tells the Wuhan government that uh, we need our student, students because of this virus, that's when they can take initiative. So the government has to like uh, step forward and talk to the government of Wuhan that we need our South African citizens to be evacuated from this place. That's the only way it's going to work. These are videos that were taken and uploaded two weeks ago. And last week, the MNG reported that the government had considered either evacuating their citizens or leaving them in China. The evacuation option promoted concern about South Africa's capacity to handle COVID-19 and the risk of an outbreak in the country. But two days ago, on February 26, the South African government announced that they would evacuate South Africa in Wuhan. South Africa government Crime Prevention and Security Cluster agreed to evacuate their citizens from Wuhan, Hubei province. They are 199 South Africans in Wuhan, 132 of whom have requested evacuation, and 13 have chosen not to leave the country, and 54 people have yet to be tracked. South Africa joins several other African countries, among them Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, Madagascar, and Mauritius, who have uh, repatriated uh, their citizens. I hope these uh, three South Africans will be their home soon. But unfortunately, today the first uh, confirmed case occurred in Nigeria, South Africa's uh, busiest country, and also two days ago first case in Algeria. Algeria's government has confirmed one case of the coronavirus in the country amongst uh, two suspected cases of uh, Italian citizens. According to the health minister, it marks uh, the second confirmed cases of the virus on the African continent. The suspected cases were two Italian and they were 55 and 61 years old. Be safe.